All right, folks, we're behind the shed in the backyard here, digging through some old parts. And I have a spare Mopar uh, engine here. It's uh, a D32, which is, if I recall, is a, it's a Dodge, 49 Dodge, I think. Canadian built, 25 inch long engine. And it has a brass water tube in it. So last video, I took out the brass water tube out of my 1938 Plymouth, which has the Canadian 228 engine in it. And we found it was brass because when we pulled it apart, we destroyed, or we, who's we? Me. I had destroyed it. Well, not destroyed, but it, when I was using my puller, I showed it in the last video, this is my puller that I made. I actually tore into the brass, not knowing it was brass. And then I sanded some of it and polished it up and you can see it's shining and it's brass. Now, rumor has it, the Canadian cars have brass water distribution tubes in them. And my friend who sold me this engine for a smoking deal, I tore it down, kept all the parts, kept the block. I'm glad I did because I'm going to pull out the water distribution tube. This is my second chance to do this right, to do it differently. If all else fails, I think I've done enough research now. I've never done brazing before, but I think I can braze this up with some brass and the propane torch if I need to. But my buddy, all the Mopar guys I meet, I gotta admit, they're all older than me, but they're just so full of knowledge and they wanna help. And I gotta say, you know, I have met some incredible people because I got into old Mopars and they keep giving me stuff and giving me information, giving me free parts giving me a smoking deal on an engine which is going to save me here another hundred bucks by the time I get another water distribution tube here to Canada I'm a hundred bucks Canadian anyway two weeks of waiting so he sent me his tool he built this tool piece of ready rod piece of flat steel like mine you see he tapered it down even narrower and thinner than mine with a hook on the end and he's got a pretty good Mickey Mouse branded puller like a hammer sliding hammer here I don't know what that is old gear of something it says BD on it I'm gonna say it's his DB which is Dodge Brothers <laughs> it's not but anyways he's my brother in Dodges I would agree with that so we're gonna give this another try we're gonna do this carefully and delicately and this time, I'm going to try and pull maybe a little bit from this, this hole here and then move up and pull a little bit from the next hole and the next hole because I don't want to pound out a hole again from hammering too hard. If you have a metal tube, rumor has it, the American cars have metal water distribution tubes. The Canadian cars have brass. Now, so far, I'm three for three in that theory. My 38 Plymouth had a brass tube in it and it's got a Canadian engine in it. This little engine here is a Canadian engine. It has a brass tube in it. And my buddy, who gave me this puller to try, he has an American 217 point, whatever you call it, cubic inch, um, what is that, a 23 inch engine? And he took his out, and it was a pain in the butt, because it was metal, like this one, which I got from an online aftermarket supplier. I'm not gonna name names but it is not usable, and I'm pissed about it. Anyways, let's give this a shot. I'm gonna go slower here this time and try and grab it. I'm gonna, I don't know if you can see, I'm gonna put that in there and I'm gonna slide this hammer delicately back. I'm gonna try and get this out. This engine has been sitting for 30 years. You know that. Windy. The wind blew over my camera. Alright, try this. It's not easily biting anything up on the top there.
get in the very end hole here. I want to try and get farther back for some reason. It's not tight. Yes! Success! We have brass tube number two saved. Saved by the bell. And it is brass and it looks great. I'm gonna reuse that. I'm so glad I had this spare engine. I got an engine, I got a tranny, I got all kinds of parts, clutch discs, uh, pressure plates, um, brake pieces. I got it all off my buddy locally for a really good deal. Did I say the Mopar people in the Mopar community are fantastic? Did I already say that? I'm so grateful. There's one in my 38. Here's the one while well, in my 54 engine. Here's one out of a 48 engine. Oh, I'm excited.